So we're ready to do the last one, Yaksoka number seven. Uh, we'll do a slow version, then we'll talk about some of the points, and then we'll do regular speed. parties in this uh, in this yakusoku, uh, when we're set up, even though we're both in Shizentai, we're both going to have our body at a slight angle. And um, this was something that O-sensei had taught as part of yakusoku number seven. Uh, it's uh, a key, you know, we're quite close to each other, so this angle helps give us just a teeny bit more safety uh, with our distancing. Uh, so we're at a slight angle. Um, for the uh, offense, the important point here is that um, uh, a lot of people tend to have their elbow out for the push-push-pull-pull that happens in this yakusoku. Uh, but if your elbow is out, then you're only pushing with your shoulder and your arm, and, and with the big guys, maybe that's okay. But you, you're still missing your core. This is all about, all this is all about being attached to the core. So you've got to have your elbow uh, under uh, the arm, connected to the core of the body, Everything's connected here, connected to the back, so that when I do the push, it's coming from here versus just from my shoulder and arms. So that's a really important point for the offense. Um, for the defense, the uh, I'm responding to the push, push, and the pull, pull, and so I don't just step back when he does the push. I feel the push, there's a little bit of resistance, and then I go little bit of resistance, then I go. Same thing with the pull. Uh, it's uh, graceful but resistant. It's not a wrestling match going back and forth across the floor. Um, so there's a you got to have a balance there. Um, when the offense is just finishing the second pull, just finishing is when the punch comes out. Uh, it's a nuance of timing here. Uh, instead of pull, pull, punch. You know, with distinct movements, uh, we do pull, pull punch. So there's a there's a connection of the punch just as you're finishing. So that timing is distinctive. Um, I think that's it. Did I have anything to add? Are you all asking? Hi. Okay. So we'll do regular speed. say thank you for watching and um, we'll return with more material uh, here shortly. We have a set number two and a set number three, uh, mostly driven uh, by Soke's style, uh, Joshin Nagamini Sun. I uh, want to say as a closing thing that uh, oh sensei Shoshin Nagamini had a best friend his entire life. Uh, Jokai uh, Kushi, and he was famous for uh, the sumo. Sumo in Okinawa is called uh, tegumi, I believe, and it was originated uh, not from the mainland Japan, but really from Korea. Uh, he, Jokai, uh, left uh, his love of tegumi to do karate meaning that he closed the doors to that life and committed himself to karate. Some of his spirit and, and his ideas are in this Yakusoko as well. One thing that he said though, uh, that's important, especially for somebody who was uh, so talented in the previous field, he said that karate uh, should be the one art of uh, I believe he's the one that coined the phrase like uh, moving Zen versus Zen being still. But he, he really wanted karate to remain the one art in Okinawa that was pure and uh, free from competition and sport. Okay, thank you very much.